Today I'll be teaching you how to mask text in a Finley photo on the iPad. In the last video we looked at masking, what it was and how to do it, so I wanted to keep that theme going in this video in regards to text, so let's get into it. So for this tutorial I thought I'd do lovely palm trees, we're now officially into summer, so I thought I'd do something a wee bit summery and uh, hopefully it'll turn out well. So this image has been taken from Unsplash. We've looked at Unsplash a few times on this channel. This image will be in the description below, so feel free to download it and to follow along. So simply by going into the text tool, we are going to write the word. We'll do it all in caps. Summer. So it's a wee bit too big. So we will bring that down again two fingers will move the canvas and if we go into the text studio and into positioning and into tracking we'll actually bring that down so it all scrunch, scrunches together or brings all the letters closer together and I'll maybe click the move tool and I'll make it nice and big because the aim of this tutorial and we'll bring it into the center is to make it look as if these palm trees are in the text. So we've got our text layer selected. If we go into the selections persona, into the three dots and click the button select from layer. Now we have select our text. And if we just hide that now, you can see we can do a mask. We can mask straight onto this layer, but Better practice for that is by making a group and then we're going to mask on the group. So by clicking this plus icon, mask layer, now boom, we have, that's looking really well straight away, we have masked that text out. If I select one finger and deselect and if you watch the last video, you'll now know that this layer is a mask because of this wee black and white image and the wee drop down. If we click the wee drop down, black and white of course means that we've got the image below. We're going to turn that on and off. We're going to turn the mask layer on and off. Anything that you can see here in white is being displayed and anything black is being hidden. Not deleted, just hidden. By clicking the background and by clicking the move tool, what's great about making it in the group, and that's why we, we've done it this way, is we can move the layer anywhere we want, or we can scale it up or scale it down. And that's looking okay, but there's something about having the palm trees showing like this. I really like that. That's really nice. The background's putting me off a wee bit. So if I go into layers and if we go to fill there, it's made it white. We don't want it white. We we'll want it nice and summery. We'll make it a nice, maybe a nice orange color. And by holding this fill layer down to the very bottom, we've now got a nice background. We've got the word summer masked out with the image behind it. And that's, that's really, really nice. And I wouldn't leave it like this. I would do a wee bit more. We've got our summer text here, which is just being hidden. What I would be tempted to do now is select that and move it down below this group, but above the background. And simply by going into the Layer Effects Studio, by clicking Outline, tapping Outline, we can now make the radius of this about maybe about 45 or so and that looks really nice it just it just makes it stand out a lot more from the background again we can turn this on and off and it's personal preference black's quite nice but i'm more tempted to make it green so we'll just change the background layer Let's see if we can pick kind of a kind of a greeny color we'll maybe make it a wee bit Maybe make it a wee bit darker. It's maybe easier just to just to hand pick it. I don't want it to be 
completely black. Let's see. That's quite nice there. It's maybe black's very black. Black's very black. There's the quote of the day, Andrew. So that's quite nice. There's something nice about that. And I would maybe take this one step further again. So we've done what the tutorial said it was going to do. We're going to mask the text. But I wouldn't just leave that like this. What I'm going to do is select this background layer. You can hold down it or three dots. Or if we're going to the photo persona, click the three dots. We've duplicated that layer. If we move this layer down just in front of the fill layer, it's being displayed now. We'll move it back into position. And what I would just like to do or maybe do is click the three dots and change the blending modes just to see if there's something that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Screen looks really nice too. And I like dodge color and add. Overlay doesn't look bad either. Soft light's quite nice. There's something about soft light. And I, I would be tempted just to bring the opacity of this down, maybe to about 75 or so. And I think that's a a really nice and quick wee summer pattern. I know I said the black's very black, but I'm going to go back into this summer layer and actually make this black because I just think it lifts off the page a wee bit more. Yeah, and I like that a bit more. That's a very quick and simple way to mask text in a Finley photo on the iPad. I'm really pleased how that's come out. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. There's so many ways you could apply the same principles on this video to so many different categories. Not just a summer text video or a summer design. It could be winter, it could be spring, it can be autumn or fall depending on where you are in the world. So if you enjoyed this video or learned something or found value in it, please give it a like. I would really appreciate that. Feel free to subscribe as there's going to be more videos coming very soon. There's going to be another masking video coming in a few days time. So look out for that. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.